Hi, uh, Dr. Wayne again. If you recall last video, we talked about the spine and the structure and how it's supposed to be in a C shape in the neck and then an S, if you will, down with our head sitting directly over uh, that curve in the neck that's supposed to look like this, if you will, with our head sitting on top being absorbed, the weight of the head being absorbed by that arc, lose a curve. Now you've got degeneration um, and your body's going to start to break down. So that'll develop into pain. Um, soreness, numbness and tingling down the arms, carpal tunnel syndrome, headaches, you know, and on and on and on. So next today, and, <clears throat> and one thing I wanted to mention is the only way you're going to ever find out if your spine's structurally in the right position, um, definitively find that answer out is by x-rays, um, weight-bearing x-rays where you're standing upright and someone's just taking x-rays of you and then you look at them and you can see if your spine's correctly in the right position and if it's not then it's a vital, vital um, situation for you to get that thing fixed as soon as possible. Um, chiropractors are the only ones trained to do that. Um, we do that with specific adjusting to the spine to allow it to start to realign and then teaching you rehabilitation and muscle strengthening in those positions so your body can return to its normal position and allow you to obviously be pain free but also to be full of energy and full of life and, and allow your nervous system to function correctly, which is what this video is about, is your central nervous system if you understand anything, right, it's that the brain controls every single thing that happens to the body. So your ability to heal, um, to function, to move your fingers, to move your little toe, to do anything, the brain controls it all. And the brain controls the body by sending messages from itself down the spinal cord out the nerves. Um, and the nerves, there's 26 vertebrae that surround and protect the spinal cord that also surround and protect the nerves as they exit the spinal cord and then go and innervate the rest of your body. Trillions and trillions of them, but start at the nerve root, the little big part, if you will, that comes out of the spinal cord and then branches off into major and smaller ones to allow it to function like it's supposed to. So it's a big, big deal that your brain's allowed to animate the body and it only does that through the spinal cord and through the nerves as they exit. And so your spine in the right, right position is going to allow that to function. So if you have a pinched nerve to, let's say, your heart, um, you understand as it is responsible to pump five liters or so of, of blood throughout your body all the time, all day. Um, if there's a nerve impinged, the nerve to your heart, it's going to um, inhibit the heart to be able to do what it's supposed to do as well as it's supposed to. And if you can think about like maybe it's inhibited by 20%, it's only going to allow 80% of that function to go through the body and then eventually lead to maybe a heart attack or heart disease or something along those lines. There was a study done at the University of Colorado where a guy put a dime amount of weight onto a nerve root as it exited, if you will, and showed that if that dime amount of weight onto the nerve root inhibited that nerve to function by uh, 40 to 50 percent. So if you think about that, a nerve impinged upon because your spine's out of position and it's caused um, that to be inhibited to function correctly, then that makes sense that you're going to develop pain or numbness and tingling down the arms or legs, um, problems in organs because it's all about the brain communicating with the body and allowing the body to function correctly. It's why chiropractic was developed um, and why it's my life's mission, if you will, to be able to teach as many people as I possibly can about how to get their bodies working correctly. And that only happens by your spinal column getting, getting realigned, put back in proper structure so that you can um, allow the brain to communicate with the body correctly, um, preventing disease for sure, preventing pain or may allowing pain to go away. We see that all the time, headaches, um, all kinds of issues. Um, and so my job will always be to teach people um, these principles and you know today's video is about the central nervous system so if you have any questions definitely leave me um, comments um, also you can get a hold of me at facebook at dr wayne sissel um, my renal walk-in pain relief chiropractic um, also has a facebook page at dr wayne sissel dc is instagram um, twitter is renal walk-in cairo so anything you want to do to get a hold of me you can dr wayne sissel yahoo.com is my email if you want to get a hold of me that way I look forward to any questions in any way that I possibly can help um, as we go through these courses and these little tidbits of information 
Um, I hope you'll use them to apply them to your body and your health and your family's health. And if you're in Reno area and you need a chiropractor, please get a hold of me. If not, get a hold of me and I'll try to find you one near your area. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.